Good morning. It's break time. How are you today? I always pray that at the moment this video finds you, you may all be in good health, happy and safe. Today is July 20, 2021, and our good news is coming from Matthew chapter 12, verses 46 to 50. And it says, While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, Who, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. Today is Tuesday of the 16th week in the ordinary time. And our good news is, Whoever does the will of God is Jesus' brother and sister and mother. You know, all of us, all of us are born into a relationship. We all belong in one way or another into a family. It is within the context of a relationship that we all grow into an individual and thereby become member, members of a larger community of uh, members of a larger community composed of complex reality of different relationships. Jesus in today's good news wants us to wants to emphasize the truth that to relate to him is to relate with God because he is the son of God the Father, our Father. In Jesus, there is no exclusivity in relationship, but all inclusive or wide ranging. Meaning, whenever we relate with Jesus, we also relate with God. And the most authentic sign of an existing relationship with Jesus is the sign of an obedience in faith. Like in any relationship, be it as between siblings, between parents and their children, between real friendships, real friends, it is characterized by a simple adherence to the will of each other. More so, in our relationship with God, obedience to His will is of greatest importance and Jesus points us to this truth to have faith in God is not a simple acceptance that there is God mentally and academically no more than that it has to be lived experienced and witnessed shared with one another during the time of Jesus there were lots of people, a crowd even, wherever he goes, coming to him with a belief that something good is to come out when they get closer to Jesus. But Jesus drives, drives the point that one thing is to get closer to his presence and another to enter into a personal relationship with him. That is through doing the will of God, the Father. Perhaps we would ask, how do we come to the rightful will of God, to the rightful knowledge of what the will of God is? The answer also lies in the truth of entering into a filial relationship with Jesus. Because we would, we would never get into real knowledge of somebody if we will not, if we will not, we are not related to that somebody, right? 
the important the important truth is this that in order to know is to experience to have an experience and to have a rightful experience is to relate to that somebody enter into a loving relationship with that someone and that's the only way that you can gain knowledge what he thinks what he wills okay so it's very very important that we come to know the will of god by consciously entering into a personal relationship with god through jesus now here's the thing God is unseen, His pure spirit. But in Jesus Christ, the unseen God is fully experienced in Jesus. Jesus, the visible person whose words, love, and mercy are experienced and put into writing by those who are, who are witnesses, who, entered, who have entered into a relationship with Him. Now, these group of people, these witnesses, who have put in written and oral form everything that they have had wonderfully experienced with Jesus is what we have right now the church who are the living who is the living witness of all of Jesus's saving acts beginning with Jesus's mother Mary and his 12 apostles they are the original church that labors to preserve the sacred truths about Jesus as the Son of God, Savior of the world, who frees us from the slavery of sin and death. Therefore, my friends, it is of great importance that as an individual, you and I must be able to come to the understanding of our corporate personality. That is, when we receive the sacrament of baptism, we all become children of God the Father in Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. We have become incorporated into the mystical body of Christ that allows us to relate with one another as brothers and sisters and to God as our Father. This truth is spiritual in nature and therefore finds its perfection in faith. To come to faith in Jesus Christ, therefore, is to come into a spiritual relationship with God and with one another. Our skin color will remain different from each other. Our tongue will speak differently. Our, our cultural experiences and orientations will remain diverse, but... But in faith, we all have the same Father and the same Jesus as our brother, the firstborn among us, who leads us to the Father. So my friends, you are my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. With this spiritual reality, I will be of service to all of you as your brother in faith. Our relationship is spiritual in nature and therefore not limited by space and time. Therefore, in faith, each time I pray, I pray with you. Each time I come to church in worship and thanksgiving, I come with you in spirit and in truth. That is the reality that Jesus opens up for us. That we have God, only one God as Father. And in Jesus Christ, we all become adopted sons and sons and daughters of God the Father. Jesus is our eldest brother. We are all spiritual, spiritually related. And again, time and space do not, do not limit our spiritual relationship. I always pray for all of you. I hope you pray for me too. So may we all may, may, may all of us in God's time 
see each other and enjoy our company together personally in the kingdom of God, our Father, with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And I believe in faith. This will come to happen. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Peace.